I'm Phoenix Wright, and I'm about to end this man's whole career. I've said that as an intro once before, but listen, it's relevant. <laughs> That's the next course of this legal buffet. Okay. Be careful, Nick. You mess up here. You'll die. She's right. I can't mess up here. I've got to give this one some serious thought. No. I'm sure that Acro killed the ringmaster. And he did it while he was in his room. No doubt about it. Time to enlighten us as to how Mr. Dingling committed the crime, Mr. Wright. Uh. uh present the bust. I mean, yeah, I, I'm okay to present oh, the wait, bust, yeah. right? Never mind, we have the bust. <laughs> I forgot where we were and what was happening. <laughs> I'm going to present some evidence. So, what did Mr. Dingling use to commit the crime of the mur the crime of murder against Russell Berry? Take that. What's that? A picture? He killed That's him not with heavy his enough photograph. to kill someone. What the heck are you talking about, Phoenix? It is indeed. The problem is with the item that's shown in the picture, idiot. <laughs> the bust? I'm all about a good bust, Your Honor. I'm it's a... quite a large bust. And because it is oh. life-sized, it is also very, very heavy. God. Heavy? It's bronze. Heavy enough to guarantee a certain death. Especially if it was dropped from a third-story window. Ah! See, this is how Acro was able to kill the Ringmaster. With the force of gravity and Maximilian Galactica's ample bust. Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Order! Order! Stop talking about his bust! So you're saying the bust fell onto the ringmaster? A rather simple crime. Even if you were stuck in a wheelchair, it would be incredibly easy to commit. Objection! Objection! How could you possibly wheel a wheelchair with something so heavy? It's impossible! Objection! Objection! He lifts. Well, Acro is an acrobat. He should have more than enough upper body strength to carry something like the bust. Mr. Dingling, how do you respond to these charges? Well... Ekra's at a loss for words! He should be. He knows that I'm getting close to the truth. Well, 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 Acro. You can't run away from things this time. Ow! I'd watch what I say if I were you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Wh what? Your Honor, the physical health of the witness is material to this case. I demand that we get proper testimony from the witness himself. In other words, do you lift? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Testimony, you say? Do you even lift? Von Karma. Bro. Please bench for us. She's just using this testimony as a rouse. What? <laughs> ruse? But that's ruse. not how you spell like... ruse. Yeah, it's a typo. A rouse. She's just using this testimony as a rouse to stall for time. Objection! Objection. There is absolutely no need for such testimony. Objection! Objection! The defense has its version of the murder. The prosecution has the right to respond. The defense's objection is overruled. Why can't he see things my way once in a while? Mr. Dingling, I'm sorry, but we need you to testify about your physical condition. If you have any doubts about your ability to testify, we can request expert testimony. <sighs> Your Honor, this man is buff as hell. <laughs> gumshoe? Thank you, Gumshoe. We arm wrestled before this. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at his biceps. They're almost as big as I'm mine, bad. pal. The witness will have no problems. However, let's all be respectful towards him. Thank you. Our 
Ugh, that woman will sink to any low to win a case. <laughs> For a second, I thought I was going to say Akro's physical strength. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I could have lifted something the size of that bust. <laughs> I have a strong upper body from working as an acrobat. If only my legs were injured. However, lifting the bus and looking out of the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. Ha ha ha. So he timed it? That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the ringmaster's head. I guess that's why that's he killed the ringmaster by there. accident. Like, not knowing it wasn't Regina because he couldn't look out the window. Mm -hmm. Thus, it would be unrealistic for me to drop the bust on him, don't you think? Pulley system. <laughs> bust goes down, Max goes up. <laughs> hmm. I have no doubts in regards to this witness's testimony. It was impossible for him to lift the bust and stick himself out far enough to look. Not to mention that he could not have known the location of the ringmaster's head. A single false step would have led to even more severe injuries. That's what I was thinking. What is your opinion on the matter, Mr. Wright? Uh, I'd still like to proceed with my cross-examination. He's simply stalling. It's shameful, really. I can't let her get to me. I've got to focus. Now let's start stalling. <laughs> hmm. I mean... The only thing I can think of is that, like, maybe the note shows that he would have known someone would have been there, but... Not the boss. What about the box? I mean, I'm just thinking, like, if he was looking over it, like, if, if Acro had placed it, he knew that the ringmaster would be leaning over oh, it. Oh, good point. Mm. Another smart point from Amy, the mystery solving master. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Objection! Uh, Straight uh, to the point. That is our best fucking objection we've ever done. No pressing. <laughs> Acro. You didn't really need to lean out of the window, did you? What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? Nothing. I can't drive. <laughs> Neither can I. You already knew ahead of time where the ringmaster's head was going to be. Quite precisely, I may add. Objection! Objection! Your silly hinting at things is pointless, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Enough stalling! How about you show us some evidence? But... but I did such a good job hinting. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Hurry up and explain things, Mr. Wright. No one in this court appreciates a good performance. Maybe you should take a look at this. The key point here is the wooden box. I put it in quotes because we don't know if it's wooden. The same wooden box that the victim was found hunched over? The same. The question is, who placed the wooden box here? Who? When Ben and company saw the ringmaster, they didn't see him holding the box. Which means... that this wooden box was already placed at the scene of the crime. I have to admit that your theory makes a lot of sense. The moment that the bust came falling down was exactly the same moment that the ringmaster lifted up this wooden box. 
Which means that the answer to all these questions is now crystal clear. You... you mean... If the bust were to fall upon the point marked out by the wooden box... There would be no way that it could miss the head of the victim. N no! Damn, what if he, like, came at it from the side for some reason? Order! 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 This is unbelievable! Finally, some of these loose ends are starting to tie themselves up. Now I just gotta keep going, and there's only one way to go from here. Forward. So, the next question I have is, who placed that wooden box at the scene? It was Mr. Dingling, of course. He connected it to a rope, and then all he had to do was lower it down. Ow! Allow me to whip some sense into you! Mr. Phoenix Wright! Ow! 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 Jesus! The Ringmaster's head could have been anywhere when he lifted the box. That's why the box was so specially made. S specially made? Indeed. It had the most peculiar feature. A single Oof. thing of pepper. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was the it's weight, like 20 right? pounds, right? It specifically said it was 20 yeah. pounds. Yeah. Which stands out to me. The box has a remarkable weight. Weight? According to the court record, it weighs 20 pounds. Just to lift up this wooden box would have required... Oh, I see. One would have to squat down, then lift it up with their body, wouldn't you say? If, if they, they were, were to lift with their knees instead of their back, yeah. <laughs> we both just went for the same joke. <laughs> That's exactly what I was trying to point out. The box is also very large. I'm upset. Box also has carrying handles on either side, doesn't it? So it would have been more effective if he did it with another person. Yeah. That is correct. To lift up the box, you'd have to squat down. You'd have to pop a squat, Your Honor. You'd have to, have to have pop, squat. lock, and drop it. Which means that no matter who you are, your head would be in approximately the same place. Fool! Damn. Wow, look at that bird. Cute. That's a pretty bird. Does he even bother to listen to me anymore? I heard what you had to say. Hmm. I must admit, I'm shocked at your imaginative skills. You... did you do it? Did you place this wooden box in the plaza? He's not gonna admit it yet. I haven't said that the lion sneezed. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like there's gonna be two parts to this. It's gonna be the... the... Proving he did it, and then the proving why he did it. Yep. Yeah, we don't have motive. Mr. Wright may have a vivid imagination, but I could never have done what he's proposing. What? Mr. Wright, do you recall the original location of Max's bus? The cafeteria. Yeah. <laughs> the monkey brought it to you, bitch. Of course I remember. It was on top of the table in the cafeteria. Hmm. And what happened to it? I'd like you to remember one important fact, Mr. Wright. I could not possibly leave the lodging house by myself. Ah! That means... You understand what I mean, don't you? I may very well have been able to drop the bust from my room. However, how would I have gotten the bust from the cafeteria to my room? The monkey, bitch. Wow, I have no monkey. idea how. 
Ook, ook. You see, Mr. Phoenix Wright, explain that. Don't forget, you said there was no accomplice. Ag. Tell us exactly how the witness would have carried the bust from the cafeteria. Yep, we definitely have a problem here. But this is no place to get perplexed. <laughs> okay. I've got to get my wits about me and prove how things happened once and for all. All right, Mr. Wright, let's hear your explanation. How did the witness get the bust from the cafeteria back to his room? Hee <laughs> hee hoo hoo. Ook ook. Take that! A uh, monkey? Screen caps out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows money. He loves shiny objects of any size. Oh, like when he sold the ventriloquist's ring. So, are you saying the witness had a monkey steal the bust? Of course he didn't order the monkey to steal it. The monkey stole it on his own, and then brought it back home. Home? Money lives in Acro's room. Imagine having to share your room with a monkey. <laughs> Acro's <laughs> room? <laughs> Objection! <laughs> Holy shit, that was a sick burn! But the bust was bronze, wasn't it? Bronze isn't all that shiny! Objection! Maybe you should put the whip down sometimes and read the court record. Oh, oh damn! Mm -hmm. My, those are some very nice cards he's holding. Yes, and they are made of platinum, which is the very judge, shiny. The judge starts reaching for the stack. <laughs> mm, those are some nice cards you have. Gwa! Acro. Jesus, I hope my roommates didn't hear that one. I have a shiny one. E. <laughs> <laughs> Money is a strong monkey, right? It'd be easy for him to bring the bust back to your room. Uh, wasn't able to handle that himself. I'd be on the market for a new roommate. <laughs> what? Order! Order! I said order! Ms. Von Karma! Where is the bust in question at this moment? Um, 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 I, um, I don't know. We're searching for it as we speak. Hmm. This is a rather strange turn of events. So let's <laughs> say that the monkey had not stolen the bust. Let's not say that, because it's not what happened. They both deserved better. What would have happened then? Well, in that event, something else would have been used as the murder weapon. Wait! Then you mean this bust was the murder weapon? Yearly by accident? It's possible. Maybe Acro saw Money's mountain of stolen goods and thought to use one of them. Anyways, I think we've more than proven one critical fact. Namely, that it was entirely possible that Acro was the murderer. Moron! Oh, that's a new synonym. Oh. Pulling out the Dumbass. vocabulary. That's a growth. <laughs> Buffoon! Mr. Wright's argument was so circular, I'm still a bit dizzy. However, its argument does hold water. There's no denying that. Oh! Don't seem so flamboozled, especially by this fraud of an attorney. She's making up words now. Fraud? That's the word you have a problem with? <laughs> You've forgotten the absolute most important thing, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And what is that? You should know. <laughs> you forgot that your fraud of a magical client was spotted at the scene of the crime. Ah! 
In case he did oh. forget. There is no reason to doubt the clown's testimony. Oh I can't God, believe I have to saying? say that sentence. <laughs> That's true. How do you respond to that, Mr. Wright? She's not saying his full name because she doesn't respect him. <laughs> Nick, don't let her beat you now. I won't. This is my chance to turn this trial around. Oh, <laughs> oh gotta keep it. Trials have tabled. When the murder occurred, there were two people at the scene of the crime. One was oh, the victim, the Russell Berry, and the other was the murderer himself. Answer this and only this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Who was the murderer the clown saw? The uh, best. Uh, uh, the uh, I don't know. A mannequin. Uh, I thought it was the, a mannequin, but bust. maybe it was straight up just the bust with a cloak on. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't any white roses. <laughs> like, he had it on a rope. Maybe so. <laughs> him and then pulled it up. Maybe the monkey yeah. wasn't even necessary to retrieve it. <laughs> Shall we present this bust? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Like, it, it would explain why everybody person. claims they saw the hat, too. Yeah. 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 All right. Take that! Oh my god. He saw Max's bo- Ow! I asked who was the other person Mo saw on the scene. That evidence has nothing to do with the question. Objection! Objection! Au contraire, mon frere. It does indeed have something to do with the question. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Mo said that he saw Max's silhouette. But he did not actually see the man himself. It wasn't a human being he saw. It was a ghost. Ooh. How is that possible? It's simple, really. What Mo actually saw that night was Max's bust. I'm not done talking about it. <laughs> Objection! What are you talking about? Have you tried using your brain at all in this case? The silhouette you saw was wearing a cloak! Objection. Objection! There's no reason why you couldn't attach a cloak to the bust. It would be easy to hang one off of the cards in the bust's hands. Idiot! Who in their right mind would put a cloak on a bust? I can't. I can't maintain a serious <laughs> voice. Oh this argument. <laughs> it doesn't matter who put it on the bust. Uh, oh, I mean, just it? wait a minute now, Mr. Wright. Who puts the cloak on the bust? That question is of the utmost importance to this case, don't you agree? Duff, he caught me. Uber. <laughs> so let's have it, Mr. Wright. Who puts the cloak on the bust? I mean, it's probably fucking I mean, didn't, Max. Didn't... Well, didn't Russell Berry have the cloak before? I don't uh, remember. He borrowed... I thought... No, wait. Uh, there's no way Russell Berry put a cloak on the bust after it came down and killed him. What? But maybe he did it before it killed him. Why would it just be hanging there? I don't know. <laughs> and he just went like, hmm, a coat hanger. Perfect. Ben was outside, but like... I don't maybe think... It just... Maybe what? it just got like... I don't know. I don't just... know. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't definitely... Russell Berry wearing Max's cloak that he went out in? So like the bust hit him perfectly, caught on the cloak and <laughs> hauled it up? <laughs> I mean, maybe... Does that count as Russell Berry putting it on? Holy or shit! Acro? I guess it counts as Berry, probably. I feel like it must count it's as Berry. It's gotta be Russell Berry. This is the stupidest thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ace Attorney. Take that! F -f Fool! H him? Oh, him. 
You are saying it was the victim himself? Russell Berry? That's what I'm saying. He... I mean, the victim himself placed the cloak on the bust? Place the cloak isn't really the right way of putting it. Then what would be the right way of putting it, Mr. Wright? A really, really stupid coincidence. Jesus. Explain yourself! This is a stupid game. <laughs> <laughs> you really have a handle on all of this? I'm fine, Maya. I'm finally putting all the pieces together. Oh yeah, it's finally coming together. <laughs> <laughs> There's really only one picture I can paint anyways. All right. So you want to know what really happened that night? Let's step back in time. Just <sighs> the conspiracy theory of it all. Acro used a rope to lower the wooden box onto the scene. Then he attached that rope, rope to the bust, and dangled the bust out of his bedroom window, directly above the wooden box. <laughs> Did he actually just fucking hang the cloak on there? No! <laughs> At the same time, the ringmaster told Max to wait in his room, and went to the scene. Of course, at the time, the ringmaster was wearing Max's costume. Obviously. Perhaps he didn't want anyone to recognize him that night. But just as he feared, he was spotted at the entrance of the lodging house. By none other than a ventriloquist and his puppet, Ben and Trillo. When the ringmaster arrived at the scene, he bent over to lift the wooden box. And that's when Acro took his chance and released the rope. Nope, it was the stupid thing that I thought. <laughs> now this is when the magic happens. Oh boy. Magic, huh? At the very instant that the bust hit the victim. Uh, <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> you wait just a second there, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> How can you hold it? What the fuck? <laughs> As much as you try, as much as you scheme, this just isn't true. It can't be. It's still a little early to be getting so upset, Ms. Von Karma. This circus isn't over yet. Oh. Uh, what? This is my circus. You are not a clown. You are the entire circus. <laughs> I'm playing the circus music. And I'm not finished. The impact of the bust on the victim threw the cloak up, which snagged onto the bust. I'm furious that this was the truth. God. That impact also caused the sound a certain witness heard, prompting him to take a look. That witness was, of course, Lawrence Moe Curls, the clown. When Moe looked out his window, the cloak had already snagged onto the bust. Now... Having completed the crime, Acro naturally went about pulling up the murder weapon. Of course, he had no idea that Mo saw the bust being raised with the cloak dangling on it. Primarily because, in his wheelchair, he couldn't see out of his window. So he just kept pulling the bust up. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how the magical murderer disappearing into the sky came to be.